this streak. They're a good club. One away. Not in second. The left fielder, number 22, Miguel Sano. Into the windup and the pitch. Miguel ah. Sano comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. <clears throat> He's right on that breaking ball. That's pretty good timing right there, especially falling up after a fastball. And another foul ball. That's and a check. a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. That's a nice pitch right there. He threw him a breaking ball, comes back with a fastball, and now he's late. Now he doesn't know how to adjust. He's kind of caught in between. You got him set up perfectly. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Kane has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Batting third. So here's Joe Maurer. Baseman, He's got seven. that average up over the Joe 290 Maurer. mark to begin play. High in the air out to center field. Yelich is under it. And that retires the side. In is Christian Yelich. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Brewers. Center fielder. Christian. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Rosario is there. One away. In now is nice. Lorenzo. So Kane, right he enters fielder. play hitting down in the Lorenzo 240s for the year. Kane. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Morrison ranging forward. He can't get to it. This one's down. Into the box. Got number seven. Third. First shot Got for him here one. with a runner at first number now seven. and one away. Swing and a liner. Harold, these twins, as they take the field here this afternoon, they've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. They're having fun right now. When you put together a six-game win streak, everybody starts getting interested in coming to the park early. Do I have extra work to do? Because you're looking at one week of great baseball, and you die for those streaks. They just don't happen that often in a season. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Sano is there and he makes the catch for the out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting fourth. And that brings Third up the left-handed hitting Travis, Travis Shaw. Shaw. The average for him entering play not far north of 200. Here's the first pitch chopped foul right at home plate and that's the first strike. Lynn comes set. Here he comes 0 1. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. And he chased it in the dirt. Castro gathers, and that ends the inning. Here's Joey Gallo now. The season batting the average comes in down in the 240s. Number 13, Joey Gallo. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Here's Brian Dozier now. He comes in with 16 home runs on the season so far. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Well, that fastball is always the hardest one to lay off. It's right there in your eyes. It looks so good. Good job of holding up. 1-0 pitches. A slider swung on and missed. One and one. 
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A splitter, Whoa. but he started it too low as two it bounces one. up to the plate. The 2 and 1 on its way. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there, 2 and 2. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Boy, a check swing on a pitch way out of the zone. Just held up, but boy, as a pitcher, you're hoping that he swings at that one. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Another one sent foul. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. Now with the plate, Logan Morrison. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Eduardo Escobar standing in, and the average isn't pretty down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. The 1 0 delivery. Fastball that just misses inside. Hey, one thing's clear. He's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Here's Ryan Braun now. He'll get us going here in the bottom Bring half of the, the second. Left fielder. Ryan. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. What good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Now with the 2-0 count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. Sano giving chase. One down. Now batting, Stephen Vogt hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Next to bat Orlando Arcia. His batting average on the year down at the 240 mark entering play. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. And now a swing and a ball hit hard back up the middle. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Now with the plate, Jonathan Villar. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Bounce to first. The tag and he is out. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. He'll lead things off win. here in this one-run Castro. contest. Jason Castro. Up and away oh. to start the inning. It's 1-0. Here it comes. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Yelich is under it. He's got it one away. Standing in, nine, nine. Lance Lynn, as he'll 31. get his first opportunity Lance in this one. Lynn. Into the windup and the pitch. Ball. And this is taken outside for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. 
checks his swing but this pitch is right there for strike one. One and one here it comes. Two and one. Into the windup here's the two and one pitch. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate and easy take there and it's three and one now. Well he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he misses here ball four and somehow he manages now to walk his opposite Center number. Fielder. Wow. Eddie Rosario. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Good swing just got to try and straighten that one out. He's ready here's the 0 1. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Well clearly that changed up the pitch before it didn't fool him because that fastball right there he's right on it. He just couldn't put it in play. And that finds its way through for a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Ready for another chance. Miguel Sano. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swing and a liner. But foul. He hit that change up hard. Man, he saw it good. Just wasn't able to keep it fair. Whoa. And he comes back with a pitch that misses here. One and one to the Minnesota third baseman. The intent with that change up away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. And the change up is way low that time. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way and a splitter swung on and missed that time and that'll be out number two. First base digging in for his second at bat Joe, Joe Mauer, Mauer. 0 for one here in the early going getting a few steps off a second there now the pitch and look out as that one ran in and got him. Striding in once again Joey Gallo Joey hit it hard but lined Gallo. out in his first at bat. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Ball one. Playing 11. One ball, one strike. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Well, right here, he's definitely worked himself into a very difficult situation. He's got the power hitter at the plate, and you got two balls. He's sitting there looking for his pitch to hit. You know he's zeroing in. 2-2, two -two, here it is. Chopped weakly to the left. On to first, and the Twins are turned away here as the side is... Stepping up to the plate, Junior Guerra. He'll get us Murray. going in the home half Catcher. of inning number three. Junior Guerra. Cut ball. fastball inside, one ball, ball one. No Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Tried swing. to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. And the pitch on two and one to two and two now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before. And that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Junior Guerra is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Christian Yelich comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. Skied into straightaway right. Morrison has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Lorenzo Kane, a base hit in his first trip. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Now the pitch. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. I like that. Show him the curveball and then try to sneak that low 90s fastball by him. It's going to look faster coming off those breaking pitches. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Line drive to left. 
Sano will get there and he puts it away to Coming to the plate now, Brian Dozier. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Swing and a miss much too early, and that makes it a full count. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Logan Morrison. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. Line but speared on a hop. Throw in time at first for route number two. Eduardo Escobar standing in comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that misses ball one. The 1 and 0 delivery. Not close. It's 2 and 0. 2 and 0 count and the pitch. And this one's tap fouled at home plate. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Just a no, bit high that high. time as he misses for a ball. To first. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Stepping in, number seven. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here in the fourth. Into the windup and line. the pitch. Number seven. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Morrison sprinting after it. Makes the play, one away. Into the box no now, Travis Third. Shaw. Thanks, 0 for 1 Travis. after he took a look at strike Shaw. three in his first plate appearance. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. I like the fact that they're swinging early in the count and they're really aggressive right now early in this game. But there will come a time you got to be patient. If you're swinging the strikes, that's one thing, but make him work a little bit. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Now, ah, this is lined into left field for a base hit. So one gone in the inning here with the uh, runner at first. And that will bring forth Braun. the great slugging left fielder Ryan Braun. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball. And he takes ball one. one oh. No runs three hits and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Right. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. He's set. Here's the three and two. A swinging bunt to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Now to the plate, Stephen Vogt, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And Maurer will look up and put it away, and that ends the inning. In now, Jason Castro. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
Catcher, Jason Castro. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and oh. And now pitch on the way. Ooh, no, good changeup just missed inside. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2 and 0 oh as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. Zero. To 2 and 2 now. Set to deal on 2 and 2. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now at the plate, Lance Lynn. He drew a walk his first time up. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 oh, and 1. No. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Zero. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in and looking for more, Eddie Rosario. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here's a slider that's inside, 1 and 0. Oh. Kind of a surprise not to see a fastball on the first pitch there. The guy's probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike one and one. Ball, no ball. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Oh, right there. Sometimes you can just miss a ball. Doesn't mean you have to swing and miss, but that ball's right in this wheelhouse, and he didn't square it up the way he'd like to. He missed it. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Here's Miguel Sano. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Sends that one out of play for strike one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was nice. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Runners on the move for second. Hit on the ground out to short. Arcia has it. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Digging in to try it again. Orlando Arcia will start things out in the, the home half stop. of inning number five. Orlando Arcia. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Two is left. Escobar throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one the away. Batter, number five, second Digging baseman, in the switch hitter Jonathan, Jonathan Villar, Villar comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Gallo is over now and he's got it for route number two. Coming to the plate 21. now Junior Guerra Junior 0 for 1 for Guerra. him here in this one. 
A cold strike on the inside corner. Well, he's really having good success in this game. And, you know, looking at it, you go, how's he doing it? Well, it's surely not the first pitch strike. I mean, he's a little over 60% first pitch strikes. That's good. It's not great. But the type of success he's having, you can't figure it out. And now pitch on the way. Now a check swing, and he went around, says the home. So here's Joe Maurer. He'll start things out now in the top Leading half of the, the sixth. Twins, first baseman number seven, Joe Maurer. Yep. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control the at bat. Swing and a line drive. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early, then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. And Maurer's going to get himself a base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. Here's Joey Gallo now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in Joey this one. Gallo. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit hard on the ground to first. Reined in to second for one. Throw to first is going to be offline. So they just get the one on the play. Here's Brian Dozier now. He struck out twice thus far. So we'll see if he can fare any better here. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to it either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Ready for another shot now. Logan Morrison comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both the lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. He pulls this one into right. And now a lunging catch, and he does a full gainer as well, but somehow hangs on for the second out. Digging in to try it again. Eduardo Escobar. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Ball two now. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. Three oh. and oh now. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. He might have been setting him up with that high fastball to change his eye level. Now he's got him set up. Maybe he'll go down the zone. Get hard up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third. So the bases become loaded now with two gone. Number 15. Castro. Digging in once again. Jason, Jason Castro. Castro. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Scott Casimir answers the call. No. To pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded. Kenny's Vargas will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. They'll come into play at 317. Four home runs and 16 RBIs. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. and oh. One run, five hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Looks at a sinker over the inside part of the plate.
And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Who thought he had ball four, but instead it's strike two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Kane is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Christian Yelich. Center fielder, Christian Yelich. Now here's the pitch. Ball one. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Swing and a liner. Foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swing and a liner. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. He's around first, heading for two. And the Brewers get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Striding in once again, Lorenzo Kane. One for two on his line so far in the game. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Riding into the box, number seven. Number it's seven. been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. Boy, the Brewers haven't done much up to this point. They need to get something going, and they need to get it going right now. Throw over to the bag. Now the 0-1. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. And they'll slap the tag on him between third and home, and it's a costly double play. How about it? And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Cut fastball inside. Ball one. Hits are even right now at five aside. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2-0 and as they bunch him up inside. It's 2-1 and one now. Oh, wow. That's what they call a jam sandwich. Wow. Not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. That is power versus power. Here it is. Here's my best fastball. I'm going to get it up in the zone. I dare you to hit. Outside in a full count, 3-2. and two. Ryan Braun would be next. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Here's Ryan Braun now. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Lynn comes set. First pitch on its way. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Seems like he's just lost the strike zone his last several pitches. He's got a walk, and that pitch right there, that wasn't even close. And, ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside. One and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Ready once again. Stephen Vogt. Now some action out. Stephen Vogt. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. 
just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Swing and a liner, but foul. Bases are loaded here, two down. Whoa. Too high, one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 oh and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working. And we'll have to leave it there as this is. Ready for another chance. Lance, Lance Lynn. Lead. He's 0 for 1. The for the pitcher Chris Colabello is up 15. off the bench as he'll pinch Chris hit here to start Colabello. inning number 7. There's the good fastball from Casimir. Nothing in one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. In there, and he's in control 0 2 now. Well, it's awful difficult, Matt, to hit when you find yourself down 0 2, but particularly when you haven't even swung the bat yet. Now you're in protect mode, and you haven't taken one swing. 1 and 2, here it comes. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2 but now that they both missed I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in but you can't be too cute either. So he got him swinging. Chris Colabello goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. Eddie Rosario is at the plate as he looks at ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Faces are empty one man out. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. That's a great check swing. That's tough to hold up on that pitch. It looks like a fastball, and the slider just breaks away from it. He's held up, though. Strong hands. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. And this will be fouled away. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Here's Miguel Sano. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. 0 and 1, here it comes. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. From the stretch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Oh, he definitely got away with a changeup right there. He hung that one. But the good news is it got him to pull it foul. Now you come oh. back after him with another pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, First and there are two seven. away. Joe Maurer. First pitch coming, here it is. Joe Maurer oh. is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Two and one to the left handed hitting Maurer. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Hit back toward the mound. Arcia fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. David Hernandez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound. 37. 
Next to bat Orlando Garcia. A hit in two tries so far. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen the as a right-hander is up and throwing. Orlando Garcia. And he misses ball inside with that one. Ball one. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready with the one and one. A fastball that just misses inside. A swing and a miss at the big curve ball. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Jonathan Villar will be next. Now a swing and a fly ball. Morrison has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. The batter number five. Digging in the switch baseman, hitter, Jonathan Villar. No hits VR. in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Ball. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. One and no pitch on the way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two and no count. Here it comes. Takes a knee high fastball. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Pitch on the way. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Stepping into the box, Scott Casimir. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Eric Sogard. He's come out into the on-deck circle now, as that's going to spell the... So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Brett Cecil. There we go. Pitch outside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. The 1 0 delivery. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Now in is Christian Yelich. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at bat. Swing and a miss on a ball out of the zone. That misses no, wide. Point. One ball and one strike. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Working on hanging another zero. The pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball. Jacob Barnes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 50. Into the box now, Barnes. Joey Gallo. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective. When you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Pulled the string on him there as this is popped up. Back behind second. 
Arcia backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first down. So striding forward now, Brian Dozier. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. There's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Here comes the 1 0. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Logan Morrison. Now in the box, Logan Morrison. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And he misses again, 2-0. Two, oh. two out, nobody on. 2 tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. In tight as this pitch misses, and it's a four-pitch walk. Eduardo Escobar standing in and we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk always considered a big no no of course. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right hander loosen up. From the stretch. Squared that one up just a little late. Now the 0 1 and this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one and the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on it's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you that gets down and he's got himself a base hit settling in now number, number 23 and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago a swing and a ball to left field that's going to get down for a base hit Morrison is on his way home the relay the tag and he is out at third and with that now at the plate Lorenzo Kane. He'll see what leading he can do the leading off the home aid. Right fielder. And he'll step right. off. So, hey. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a line drive that's going to carry over the head of Escobar in the left center of base hit. At the plate, number now seven. Back. No hits in number three tries seven. so far. He struck out Your once. Domingo Santana will come on to pin. Pinch hit here in a big number spot. 16. Dominic Leon. Domingo Santana now pitching for the Twins. Number 55, Dominic Leon. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Here's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. Seven homers and 11 RBIs. The Dozier for one. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Uh, did it look to you like he was guessing on the... And he will get there to make the running play. Now at the plate, Dominic Leone. He'll be charged leading with trying Minnesota. to get on board the leading off the ninth. 55. Dominic Leone. Byron Buxton will try to get Benjamin. his club. For Minnesota, number 25, Byron Buxton.
Jeremy Jeffress enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try Jeremy to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He'll start this one at 269. Four home runs and 14 driven in. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Here's the one and one delivery. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And here's a ball hit in the air. After it is Kane. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now batting. Standing Santa in, Fielder. Eddie Rosario is looking Rosario. for hit number three here in this at bat. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch here misses one wide, ball. one and oh. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Here it comes. And he'll try to hold up on the pitch inside, but to no avail, and that's the first strike. The pitch. Right on the corner, 2 and 2. Two two pitches a fastball high so it runs full three and two. He's set here's the three and two and this runs inside and that looked like it got him pretty good. In now Miguel Sano looking to change his fortunes here 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it up. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Yeah, good luck. But, hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes first in this one. Number seven. Stepping Joe in, Mauer. Joe Maurer. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. Now the relay home. Here's Joey Gallo now. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. One and no delivery. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. He's set. Here comes the one one. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Just off the inside part of the plate. It's three and one. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Here's Brian Dozier now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. 
Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. On the ground to the left side. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. Zach Duke. If the man called on the now floor. pitching for the Twins. Here's Number Ryan Braun 22. now. He's 0 for Zach 2 thus Duke. far in this one. This is line to left. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So the Brewers get their leadoff man aboard to start out the frame. Now Stepping back. in, Stephen Boat. No hits in three Stephen tries so far. Boat. He struck out once. Manny Pena will come on to pinch Number it nine. now with a runner at first and Manny nobody out. Pena. Swing and a liner. In there, a base hit. Now with the plate, Orlando Arcia. Shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Has a look, now the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. First and second here with nobody out. Outside, 2-1. and one. No doubt, some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? The Dozier for one. On to Maurer, it's a double play. So digging in now, Jonathan Villar. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. And he'll go after the first offering here, although this looked to be well below the knees at strike one. The 0-1 on its way. Ground ball up the middle, and it's going to get through into center field for a base hit. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2-1 now. Striding in, Jeremy Jeffress. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Hernan Perez will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. And this is fouled straight back. Two out with the man at first. And there he goes towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. In the dirt here. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. From the stretch. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Well, I thought he did a real nice job on the mound, guys. He threw strikes and mixed his pitches really well. And in the end, his performance helped propel them to another victory. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame for the victorious Twins. Two runs, nine hits, no errors. They left 13 men on base. For the Brewers, one run on 10 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 38 minutes. Our paid attendance at Miller Park this afternoon, 42,200. The Brewers thank you for attending today's game and remind you to please drive home safely.